back. If you're new here, my name is Hannah, and I love to talk about jewelry, vintage jewelry, and specifically glass beads. And today I have a large estate haul. I went to one estate sale this morning and only got a few things, and then the majority is from uh, a different seller. So let's just get into it. I'm going to start with this lovely ornate beveled glass jewelry box. I have an antique jewelry box. I love them and this one's not antique. Um, you can kind of tell with this thinner metal that it is mid-century, probably around the 50s when this was made. But this beveled glass with the border is, um, they definitely took it from the more antique, like French jewelry boxes. So, love that. I had to get that for myself. And then the other non-jewelry item I have is this beautiful gold bird cage with two birds in there. And it is actually a solid perfume little compact still with most of the perfume. And this is by uh, distributed by Corday Inc. in New York, and this is Toujours Moi. My French is not that great. Uh, Love Birds Creme Perfume. Oh, and it was actually blended in the USA. So I bought this to sell. Some of these are going in my collection, but the majority will probably be sold. Now all that you see here came from one person, and I got, I think, a good deal for all this jewelry. Now. I didn't realize it when I bought it, but I believe this is a Miriam Haskell necklace. Um, a lot of her jewelry is made with faux pearls and they're wire wrapped. So they're wire wrapped here on the clasp. And then there's some missing here. And then this beautiful ornate clasp. Sadly, these have a lot of discoloration. The metal is very tarnished and a lot of verdigris and not sure what to do with this. I could restring it, but I don't think these are salvageable, so I'm not sure. That was very beautiful even with the wear. And here's another faux pearl double strand necklace with a cool box clasp. Now these are very nice, they have a good weight, but they are not real. And they're also uh, hand knotted. Gorgeous. And then we have two Japanese glass beaded necklaces. And if you haven't watched my latest video, I went over Millie Fiore glass beads. And I went over this type specifically that the Japanese made that a lot of people confuse with Murano. And they're also called Tombow Beads, which means dragonfly. 
So they're supposed to look like dragonfly eyes. Love these beads. Love them. And then here is a multi-strand made in Japan. I believe the, yeah, the clasp is marked there. Zoom in a little. We have faux pearl milk glass. This world translucent glass, these black beads, and then these lovely foil beads. It's got a black base with foil and then these white frit glass pieces. Here's some more art glass. It's really lovely. It has a little bit of air degree, but I think it's in pretty good shape. Now I got a few sterling pieces. I have some abalone and sterling cufflinks. They're marked here. And I'm not sure if, I don't think the actual links are sterling because this is really tarnished, but I think this part is sterling. And it's marked there. Sterling, Mexico, or Taxco, TLR. Then we have this Roadrunner with, I'm not sure if that's genuine turquoise or not. It could be. A little brooch there. And I thought this was a money clip, but it has a brooch backing. And yeah, I'm not quite sure what this would be used. Maybe it is still a money clip, but I doubt it. I think it clips something else. Then we have these carved onyx, sort of Aztec tribal looking cufflinks. They're also sterling. Let's see. Can't quite make that out. I think it said 925, 5. I don't know. I'm pretty sure they're sterling. I haven't tested them yet. Then we have a sterling ring, and I believe that's just some blue enamel. There's the sterling marking. Very heavily tarnished. Cute ring is pretty small, probably like a, I don't know, five. And then, I'm going to zoom out for this one, gorgeous carved tiger's eye melon-shaped beads. And I believe this is Chinese, because I have a couple of other carved stone Chinese necklaces. They're normally marked sterling on the back of the clasp. And they're hand knotted like this one, but this is a very unique looking clasp with a tiger's eye. Gorgeous. Probably the best tiger's eye I've ever had. This is not a stone, it's called gold stone, but it's actually a special type of glass, also known as adventuring, and it has copper 
copper flecks in it and it is so beautiful. Now these are actually Chinese. We have a Chinese motif there. I'm not sure what it says. This could be gold vermeil, but it's not marked. So I will also have to test that. But just beautiful. I love gold stone and I've never seen it in these disc shapes. Just absolutely beautiful. Then we have this AB coated crystal. It's got good weight to it, so pretty sure this is crystal. We've got like a disco fast sitting to it. Three strands with this lovely clasp, it, clasp there with some rhinestones, and we have the this one's in really good shape. Really pretty. And here's the other Chinese necklace. We have carved lapis lazuli. Lovely dark blue. And this clasp has some Poisoné enameling. Very pretty. I'll have to test that too, but it's probably just gold plated, hand knotted. Lovely. Here's the other pearl necklace. These are faux pearl, uh, well glass, I think the other ones were glass too, and I believe these are adventuring the stone. Um, this is also adventuring the glass, so kind of confusing there. Um, I don't think it's jadeite, it has some inclusions in there. It could be either one. Maybe you guys know. Very pretty, but the um, the coloring on these pearls were starting to come off. So I gotta be careful with that. Then here's another Chinese necklace. This one's really long. This is, could be saying it wrong, Unakite. This green and red stone, hand knotted. And then this is the typical Chinese clasp, old Chinese clasp you'll find. Uh, and it's marked sterling or silver box clasp. Gorgeous. This one from the pictures I thought might be tiny pearls, but they are glass seed beads. in there and look. Really pretty like pearlescent seed beads with these geometric mother of pearl beads. Just so unique. They even still had a tag on it. I think maybe they were trying to sell it. Large beach mother of pearl small simulated pearls yeah close look they just look like seed beads 
but from far away I did think they were really tiny pearls and we got this really beautiful clasp signed silver so gold over silver really beautiful love this one might have to keep that one <laughs> and then I have these carved celluloid really funky I love these beads now a lot of times they will be plastic now sometimes they made similar beads in Bakelite and I did test these they're not they're probably just a celluloid they're really lightweight and they also sometimes carved amber in this manner and Funny enough, this one actually has some amber beads and carved celluloid. So these are amber. I'm going to zoom in. They do glow and they also have um, these like stress markings. They're just like little lines you see on the outside and here's one that's a little chipped got like this smooth kind of rounded they call it a conchoidal fracture real amber will chip that way that's one way you can tell that it's amber and these little beads here look a little different. They have some lines in there, so maybe somebody here knows what they are, but um, they are not plastic, I believe. I think there's some, maybe a bone, maybe another type of plastic. We have this old hook clasp here. Now, I thought maybe this would be plastic from the pictures I saw, but they are in fact glass and they are hand knotted. I've never seen beads like this. So I was hoping these were either Bakelite or maybe amber, butterscotch amber. They are not. Now, Experts might already tell what this is. I really had to um, dig to find this out. But you can kind of see the bottom where my hand is. There's kind of a orange glow. And these in fact have cadmium and it's UV reactive and I'm going to move these over and kind of show you we can also look at these too this has some amber oh and I have one more necklace I meant to get so I do need a little help with this necklace and this came from the same person. I know these chips are amber. They are beautiful. And it, it is on this gold gold hook clasp. It's marked 14 carat. Could be gold plated. I'll have to test. But these faceted red beads are just so confusing me. I thought, okay, well, I know these are amber, so this has to be amber. And they don't glow. They have these 
streaks. They're translucent. They're like this cherry red, which they make bake white this color. And I'm going to recommend to other YouTubers who are so helpful, so knowledgeable. I hope she will watch and comment. Uh, her name is Dana Stewart Coates, and she's from the UK. And she told me that this is probably Crystal Bakelite. And I was thinking Bakelite, but I'm not sure with these lines. I'm thinking more so amber. And I'll show you why one of these beads is um, broken right here. And then there's another amber bead stuck in there, but is chipped around here and it has that rounded conchoidal fracture like amber. So it's either amber or bakelite. Either way, this is just a gorgeous necklace that I'm so excited to have. This is amber, it glows. Beautiful carving work on that. So, we are gonna lay these here and we're gonna turn the light off and use a black light to see how these glow. So, there's that amber there glowing and that does not glow see this glows and you can see like the muddy green glow on these brown beads on the celluloid and then this look at that that's glowing orange not all the beads have a lot of the cadmium but like that one does just really cool. Beautiful. I'm so excited. I've not had cadmium. Oh, sorry for the blur. So, yeah. That is my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I got. And of course, as always, I would love to hear um, maybe any tips you have, uh, help identifying things that I had questions of. Oh, before I forget, I pulled this out too. This was advertised to me as Lavender Jade? I don't believe it is. Lavender Jade is more purple, I believe. But these are so beautiful and they're hand knotted. And these are Chinese. They have these Chinese um, designs on them, hand carved. And I kind of looked into it and I believe they're either. Lepidolite or um, oh my goodness what was the other name I will remember later and I will put the name on the screen and that's the one I really think this is because there's some gray and like more of a pinkish purple so beautiful I'm so excited about this haul. I got a lot of really awesome array of plastic and stone and glass beads. So yeah, uh, thank you guys for being here. And if you haven't, please subscribe and hit the like bu button. That really helps me out. And I hope to see you guys next time.